If ever there is an air of intrigue and mystery around a pop artist, it is around the artist known as Rodriguez. We thought he was like the inner city poet. He was this wandering spirit around the city. He's like a wise man, a prophet. How many records do you think he sold in America? In America, six. Born in a troubled city. Well, it's still a bit of a mystery how the first copy of Cold Fact actually came to South Africa, but it spread very quickly. To many of us South Africans, he was the soundtrack to our lives. Everybody I knew had his records. The message it had was be anti-establishment. Really, the first opposition to apartheid, they'll tell you that they were influenced by Rodriguez. But nobody knew anything about him. He was a mystery. Then we found out that he had committed suicide. And a lot of people have different versions of the story. He set himself alight on stage. He reached down and pulled up a gun. I thought it'd make a good story. Find out how Rodriguez died. There was nothing on the record to tell us who he was or where he was from. So we started looking quite deeply at the lyrics. I met a girl in Dearborn. We found him, we found him. These are the days of miracles and wonder. I heard he did a, like a little construction work. He was really doing the work that no one else wanted to do. Rich in a lot of things, but perhaps not material things. I said, in South Africa, you are more popular than Elvis Presley. Next day, he says, uh, Emerson, I got to go on tour. I said, why is that, Rodriguez? I wonder. This is really going to be Rodriguez. You'll only know if you can actually sing these songs. And the best part are still to come. Thanks for keeping me alive. <laughs>